Simcha Torah 5781. And we go into Simcha Torah, there's obviously a big question. The big question that we have is what is so unique about dancing around the Torah? We could understand that if you're reading it, that you get excited. We could understand that if you're learning it, you get excited. It makes sense that if you're having a sheer, you feel inspired. But to go in circles and circles and circles around the clothes safer Torah, how is that so significant? How is that so essential? And we can even see this question even deeper when we compare it to Shavuot. Shavuot, we celebrate the learning of the Torah. We learn all night, we understand the depth of what it means to learn Torah. But what does it mean to dance around the Torah? And I think we could re- understand it if we connect it to the sukkah. The sukkah starts with the letter Samech, which is a circle. And the whole idea of the sukkah is that we are surrounded. We're surrounded by Hashem's reality. We look up at the schach and we see the ground. We look down and we're outside, so we see the ground. So we're surrounded by the light of the reality that Hashem gave us. And so the idea of a sukkah as something that's a samach, and then an experience that surrounds you, it's that you're surrounded, and that you feel that you're in a womb, that you're so embraced by Hashem. But the real question of Sukkot is, what do you do with that? What do you do with that love? What do you do with that surrounding? Do you surround Hashem, or do you stop there? And the idea of Simcha Torah is that we realize that Hashem has surrounded us. He's given us Rosh Hashanah. He's given us Yom Kippur. He's given us Sukkot. We've been surrounded by so much depth, so much opportunity. But the big question of Simcha Torah, on the ending ending, just before we go out into the winter, you've been surrounded, but are you willing to surround others? You've been given, but are you willing to give to others? Hashem has given you the Sukkot, but are you willing to be His sukkah and surround His Torah? And my bracha as we go into Simcha Torah is that we are so um, in need to understand the beauty of not only what it means to learn, but what it means to live a lifestyle that we recognize that not only do we need the Torah, but that the Torah needs us. And therefore we surround the Torah to make a statement to ourselves that it's not only that we're uplifted by the Torah, but that we need to lift it up, that we need to take the Torah and take it to a new level, to a new um, 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 creation. And Bezrat Hashem, we should all be Zoha, this Simcha Torah, not only to realize what people do for us and what the Torah does for us, but we get the strength, the energy, and the excitement to give, to create, and to build, and to surround not only others, but even Hashem, Chag Sameach.